We talked at work about skin problems. from little Mike every day. He told me about Patty being mugged on the waterfront. Why would anyone want to hurt Patty Kelly? I called Joe as soon as I found out about it, and I'm writing to Rose. She's a lovely person and doesn't deserve this kind of grief. I've bought a lot of things for the waterfront clinic from secondhand hospital supply stores. Do I dare ask you to consider coming to work at the clinic when I come home. Do I have a right to ask that of you? Leslie? Uh, what are you doing? It's the crack of dawn. Amy, you don't have to whisper. We're both up. Oh, right. Must be the hour. Well, I just uh, couldn't sleep. Worried about Laura. I think it's fair, that's all. For some reason, I'm being kept in the dark where my sister is concerned. It's not right. I want to know what's going on. Amy, I have been told certain things by the police, but I've also been told that they're in confidence, and I'm not to repeat them to anyone. Well, I still don't believe the last story that I read in the newspaper about Luke kidnapping Laura. I know, as well as I know anything, that she went with him of her own free will. And wherever they are right now, she's staying with them the same way. Yes, I think you're probably very right. I don't think there was ever any force. What do the police think? Oh, with the police, anything is possible. I suppose that's what I think, too. Anything is possible. Including some rather terrible things. And that's what frightens me so much. That something horrible could be happening to them right now. And we wouldn't have any way of knowing. Hey. What's happening? What's up? That's where we stopped. That's what we wanted to find out. Bobby, how's Patty doing? Well, he made it through the night, and we're very thankful for that. And every other night that he gets through, it's going to be another hopeful sign. Oh, I hope you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. Listen, I got a few minutes before I have to go on duty, so what do you say to a cup of coffee? I don't think so, Bobby. I've got to talk to Joe. He's still in danger. Come on back and I'll put you to work. Um, Diane, I want to talk with Leslie for a minute, okay? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Les, do you have a minute to talk? Yes, of course. Listen, we can't wait any longer, okay? We've got to do something to get Jennifer's dress. I know, I've really been trying. Unfortunately, I haven't managed to get it yet. Well, I'm going to go and do it, even if it means I've got to break into Smith's house. Bobby, that would be a terrible thing to do. No, it wouldn't, because I was just thinking, if I can get into his den, I can go through all of his papers, and I may be able to find a return address or something that's going to tell us where she is. <sighs> Leslie, I get this feeling that Luke and Laura are in terrible danger, and Jennifer is the only way that we're going to get Smith to call off his hitman. I know, I know. We'll find an answer. We will. Believe me, I want it as much as you do. I know. Okay, I gotta get back to the desk. You let me know if you hear anything at all, okay? Yes, I will. Um, Diana? Mm -hmm. Did you get that message 